If you're like me and you were a kid in the 80s, the NES was was just it, man. After the Atari 2600, I was blown away with what I saw in the NES, and I continue to still be blown away. I love the NES, very nostalgic for it. And being a grown-ass adult with children of my own and having, you know, responsibilities, I find it kind of hard to game at times, but I always find time to go back to the NES and revisit some of these games. Like, they don't require huge investments, so I just love jumping on the NES and playing some games here and there. And recently, I was like, you know what? I, I need to get me a top loader, get this thing just like refurbished, cleaned up, get the works done. So I hit up my friend Dragon's Horde Gaming. Uh, he does tons of mod work. He's done a bunch of work for me. I've highlighted on my channel in the past. And I hit him up like, hey man, I want the full service. Like hook it up, man. Get everything going here. Uh, so I set up an order with him. I want HDMI. I want everything cleaned up. I'm gonna order this uh, top loader, try to find a clean one send it out to you so he took it in great hands right uh, and he just really blew me away with everything he'd done for this system totally refurbished it cleaned it up did the works did the works got that high def mod installed and just it, amazing stuff you know he gave me some options like hey this is how much this costs this is what this costs do you want to do this so he he had a lot of things going on it was like Okay, you know what? I want that no cut mod. I don't want a hole in my system for the HDMI port. So I know there was the no cut, uh, you know, 3D printed bracket out there that you could get done. So he said, hey, I got some options. I'll throw some colors out at you, give you some, you know, something to look at. And it was like, dude, you have a clear one? And, and I haven't seen this before, but he was like, yeah, I could, I could put some LEDs in there, some little touch sensors all that good stuff. I mean, these things are reversible. Like in the future, if it was just like, you know what, I, I, I don't want this anymore. Let me uh, revert. You, you could reverse all this stuff, but it was, I was so intrigued when he was like, dude, you could change the colors, just touch it. Like, I'll get this thing set up if that's what you want. Like if you can't decide on a color, boom, LED it up and just touch it, change the color. If you don't want the LEDs on, touch it, turns it off. I was blown away. I was like, I haven't seen anybody do this. I know some people think, LEDs are a little garish, a little, you know, a little too much. But for me, it was like, you know what? I can turn it off. I could turn it on. It seems neat. You know what? Let's let's go with this. So we went ahead, got those LEDs installed with the no cut mod. And <laughs> it's a really interesting look here. Like I said, I've never seen somebody else have one set up like this. Maybe there has been, but I, I just thought it was was amazing to see this. Really neat stuff. Just kind of, you know, it's like pimp my ride, but pimp my NES, right? <laughs> so that's where that was. I'm really happy with all the work he's done um, with everything that happened with this NES. And it, it's, it's, it's my prized possession. I really love the NES, love revisiting these games. And I just wanted to share this with you guys today, give you a little showcase of what can be done um, if you're into the NES. I wanted to get, you know, the analog NT Mini. I passed up on that before, decided, you know what, let me just, let me get a top loader tricked out. Then I heard, you know, Analog was going to do a final run of the NT Mini, but you know what? I'm satisfied. I have a legit NES that can plug into, you know, HD, HDMI. I'm good, but there's options out there. So this is just one of them. So let's go ahead and take a look at what this high def mod can actually do. So one of the really cool things with the high def mod for the NES is you're not just getting HDMI out, you're getting a bunch of options to customize your video and audio output on your console. I think this is really amazing stuff. So a simple uh, hotkey combination, by default, it is select and left, will bring up the menu. You have tons of options here. I'm not gonna go in depth on all of this stuff. Uh, people like My Life and Gaming have done really in-depth videos on all these options, uh, but there's, there's a lot of stuff you could do here. You could change your resolution, uh, video output options, there's horizontal stretch, scaling, which is kind of interesting. Like some people might dig this, I don't, but smooths it out, gives it kind of a different look there. I think that's kind of kind of strange, but you know, some people might dig it. I don't, but there's that. Little scale 2X and X-ray, if you're so inclined to play like this, uh, this is very weird, right? But there, there you go, uh, some scaling options. I just leave it to none. 
uh, scan lines. This is a huge one on an original console without any additional, like, you know, generators attached to it, just this mod. Uh, you can get some scan lines going. So you can mess with this to your heart's content, the depth, different, um, you know, types of scan lines here, 2X, 3X, NES, all that good stuff. You know, you could find a good combination. I don't really care for scan lines on a, you know, on a modern display. For me, it's not really a big deal, but you can make them look good. Uh, it's really cool. The, the amount of, uh, you know, playing with that you can do here with scan lines to get them looking legit for you. So that's that's awesome stuff. We have a palette option. A bunch of different palettes have been set up on this. So you can go ahead and change things like Play Choice 10, as you see. <laughs> Um, the colors get quite a bit different. It's still an authentic uh, thing here. It's just a different color palette, you know, from the Play Choice 10 arcade machines. So really interesting you have that uh, to, to mess with. If you so choose, you can go black and white. Um, I, I mean, why? I don't know. I did game <laughs> on an NES on a 13 inch black and white. That was how I originally played my NES. So this kind of brings back some memories. Not the way I want to play now though, but you have that option. So I think that is neat. A lot of things you can mess with there. Uh, cropping options for all the different edges. If you want to choose to to crop things like, let's see, as you see in the background there, Mario has some junk pixels on the edge. We can go ahead and clear that up. Um, and then you, you lose that. So as you see, I kind of shrunk it down a little bit. Let's go ahead and go back in there. Uh, and crop it a little a little more there we go so now that that edge is completely gone uh, so so neat that you you have that to mess with um, I just typically just leave it you know the way it is but if you really want to and you got some extra junk pixels going on you could crop them horizontal position mess with that uh, de speckle options this is an interesting one as well um, I do have two Top loaders that are high def modded and AV Famicom and then this NES, US NES that I, I was really looking forward to. I just had to have a US top loader with these mods and services done by Dragon Sword Gaming. But I have not had any issues with the speckle or with speckles on the screen on either of these systems. But if by chance the PPU um, that's in your system isn't really playing too well, uh, you may get some little spe speckles, like little dots, uh, pixels that kind of flash around on the screen. You could change the face and it will remove it. You just got to find the, a good option there. But uh, for me, I haven't had an issue. I don't really think the uh, top loaders have that problem. Uh, audio options out the ass for different chip enables, volumes for each one. You got panning for each different option here. A viewer, I guess you can keep an eye on the uh, the processes there. I'm not exactly sure what that's for, but you got options to take a look at. Hotkeys, this is an important one to get into the menu. Right now we have it as select and left. Overclock, you can overclock, select and up, uh, select and down for underclock. Reset, uh, which is pretty cool. So short reset, like you just hit the reset button. Long reset, like you powered on and off. You have hotkeys for that. So a little in-game reset, really cool. You can change the controller to the controller one or two uh, for the hotkeys, a few other options there. Uh, you could save your settings, change the the height, the 1080 by uh, you know 60 uh, height here, 4x or 4.5x. You could turn the PPU fixes off, uh, update firmware, so on and so forth. So a lot of cool things that we could do here. I really dig having this system, having everything set up. Um, man, you know I grew up with the NES, just like I know a lot of you guys have as well it's it's up there for me like it's really hard for me to decide like is the nes or the super nintendo my favorite console right it, it's it's really tough because i have so many fond memories of both and i've really been digging revisiting nes games um, i have a little library of cartridges of just the games i really want to play like i don't i don't want to collect like hundreds of cartridges that'll just sit there for no reason so yeah, I, I, I got a little collection. Just games that I want to play every once in a while. Uh, and I've been having a blast. The Nintendo's just, you know, the NES. It's 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 a system that I'm very, uh, you know, nostalgic for. Like, plenty of people are. And with these mods and services that are available out there to pimp out your console, 
I, I couldn't be happier. This is like my prized possession as far as systems go. I've really been digging it with all the little details and things that were done to it. So, hey, guys, really appreciate you hanging out with me, checking this video out. Uh, it was a lot of fun messing with this system. I've been playing it, uh, playing my NES systems quite a bit lately, and I just recently received this back from Dragon's Horde Gaming, and this is going to be the way I play my NES games from, from now on. So, hey, thank you. And with that said, I will catch you all next time. Peace out. Bye-bye. And boom. Bye.